2013. Yeah! Start as you mean to go on with a big smiling face and just full of great news. Yes! Absolutely! We've reopened the store. Mm, and there's a new item on there. The Team Ghost Like a Sir t-shirt. Go and check it out. We reopened today. So any orders that you got over Christmas, they're being sent out. And now it's all opening up and running as normal. Thumbs up to everybody. A lot of wonderful smiling people in the chat. Everybody's looking fucking sexy. Look at all those hollers. Every single day that I do some work... I know that at about 5 p.m. I'm going to see a fucking screen full of hollers and everybody's going to be feeling good. Welcome to the Daily Preach, the only daily that matters. I'm going to keep that as a tagline, forever and ever. That's right, Blizz. I'm taking one for the home team. I have done a wonderful video for you today. The easiest way in history of doing really, really good DPS with any class. Like, I can't give enough credit to this video. I kind of want to redo it again. Just to state how easy it is to do ridiculous DPS with what I'm going to show you this evening. It's going to upload immediately after the daily before I go swimming. Hmm, New Year's resolutions and all that. The monster, this was. I'm keeping it as a trophy. This is the last kind of monster we will ever drink. I'm not saying ever. Ever's ridiculous, right? I don't want to do that forever. I like monster. But it's the last one we're going to drink for a while. Me and Ghosty are of a pact. A pact that we will not drink Monster anymore. This is full of sugar. It's really bad for you. <laughs> we're just going to, uh, you know, we're going to give it up for a bit. See how that goes. Probably like the most slow, retarded web show ever coming up in a week or so's time. Uh, but that is basically good after the last web show we did where I was insanely drunk. Ah, what are you going to do? But today's video is all about how you can abuse certain add-ons. Uh, to make your gameplay just ridiculously easy. Because a lot of people are struggling. I know a lot of you are. There's too many effing buttons everywhere. Ugh. And if I want to do really, really good DPS, I have to manage them all. And that's really annoying. The classic way, of course, of managing your spells. Have them on your spell bar. Have some kind of countdown. Something like that to manage them all. But Blizzard, Blizzard has decided to give us... Like five or six little cooldowns. Think about hunters. Oh my god. Murder of crows. Dire beast. All that kind of shit all the time. Plus you're mixing your chimera shots or whatever it might be. And you've got all these little spells on fiddly ass little cooldowns. How do you manage them effectively? I've tried a number of ways of doing this. It's something that's been bothering me because I've been playing my major hell of a lot. I played it today. Uh, and it's bothering me because my mage... Has Frost Bomb, Frozen Orb, Mirror Images, Icy Veins, Freeze from my pet, Alter Time. Has all these little fiddly ass little spells. And some of you have this issue, right? Where you're at a training dummy, okay? You're facing your training dummy and you're kicking its ass, right? You're like, fuck you training dummy. You're giving it, giving it fucking big noise, right? A big fucking bunch of fives. And you're feeling good. You're feeling comfortable with your class. Maybe you've even spent like an hour, hour and a half whacking away at a training dummy. And now you're thinking, I'm pretty goddamn comfortable with my class, right? I can do good DPS. Then you go into a raid, and it all falls apart. Everything's fine, as long as you can stand still and do what you were doing at the training dummy. That's what you've trained yourself to do, right? You spent the last hours stood in front of a training dummy, just kind of whacking away at it, and everything's cool. And then something happens, and you're all goofed up. You don't know what to do. It's all fucking backwards. You're upside down. Your arsehole's hanging out your ass. You don't want that. What you want is to still be able to cope with everything that goes on in the fight and still do mad DPS and keep on top of those cooldowns. It's one of those times where we move around and we forget to do something for maybe five, six seconds. We don't use our frozen orb for five, six seconds. Or we just don't notice a cooldown has come back. Ah, our dire beast has been off cooldown for like 10 seconds. Now, because there are such short cooldowns, you've missed out on a potential dire beast later in the fight. And over the course of a raid encounter, oh my god, you've missed out on four or five of these things. Oh, so annoying. So, come up with a way. It's not designed by me. It's something that has been happening more and more over the last, I'd say the last year or so, towards the end of Cataclysm and into Mr. Pandaria, is the ways of just dealing with this situation. I hate my dog. You know what this is? This is Emma leaving the house. What time does she leave? Five past fucking five. Not five to five. No. Not five to five. Five past five. Motherfucker. 
marriage off the cards because you're the type of person who leaves five minutes after the show starts. That's right, to start my bed off. Fuck you, right? Seriously, she's getting a slap later. So you run into this weird situation where it's not training dummy environment anymore. It's something serious. And Mr. Pandaria is all goofed up. All the fights involve you doing something. They involve you moving somewhere, coping with something. You have to watch your screen. Something I was telling people from the start is you need to watch the whole screen. And people need sometimes to glance at their buttons. But in Mr. Pandaria, glancing at your buttons can mean you die. Or you take stupid amounts of damage from something else. And it's just generally suck to check your buttons. But now we have five or six little cooldowns. Ugh. You kind of have to do that, right? Not anymore. Uh, it's a little technique that's been developed. It's not even impressive. Most of you probably use it already. Or at least I hope you do. If you're doing some sort of end game rating. You probably do this anyway. Uh, but the video's come up in about an hour. And it should help you out. But what I want to see is people try it. And let me know the difference. Because basically it takes all that having to monitor things completely out of your hands it just does it for you and essentially you start playing dance dance revolution uh which really helps out so you can start doing something crazy like uh stone guard you might be the guy on stone guard heroic who needs to kite something and light up the floor tiles like billy jean and you start forgetting about doing stupid things this way you won't do that you'll cope with any situation you'll be completely environment focused and it won't be a problem it's all gonna be pretty good so we'll check it out let me know what you think Let's move on to some good WoW news. Well, let's not talk about WoW news just now. Let's talk about 2013 news and our predictions. Everybody's flooding the internet with predictions. I'm going to kill my dog. I can't believe it. I am absolutely going to kill him. This is so hard. 2013 is being flooded with predictions of what could happen. What's going to happen in 2013? What's going out? What's going to be new? We've got the obvious things. Dead Space 3, for example. All that kind of stuff. Battlefield 4, probably. Uh, who gives a shit? Uh, all that kind of stuff's going on. But the main one is, are we going to see the next gen of consoles? This is really important. It's important for us as PC gamers because we are getting fucking owned. Absolutely owned because of the... I've got to have to sort this out. Oh my god! My brain is literally about to explode. Ah! Damn bin men! Damn goddamn bin men! Of course I'm wearing shorts, I'm going swimming after. Yeah. So, the big console market. What's going to happen? The Wii U is out, massive failure, right? Wii U, kind of sucks dick. Wii U not doing anybody any favours. Basically weaker than kind of what's already out, which is pretty sad, although it's handheld and it kind of looks cool. So sure, seeing Mario in HD is awesome. Kind of. <laughs> but I've recently been playing a lot of GameCube stuff. Uh, a lot of Wii stuff. And I don't really care. Graphics have gone by my ears. By my eyes. Because we've been left behind for so long. Haven't we? Haven't we? We've been left behind for so long. But we had no announcements about the perceived Xbox 720. And the PS4. So what's going to happen there? The big prediction is... We will have the Xbox 720 by the end of the year. It's going to come out. But, and this is the big but, most likely it's only going to upgrade the console generation to be able to play at 1080p 60 frames a second. I don't know about you, but I already play in 1080p 60 frames a second. I already fucking do that. I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if you guys are about how much they're actually going to up the ante with what they're going to produce and how that's going to benefit us as gamers to see the next level of gaming because we've been on level fucking one of oh, level six or whatever let's just say we've been on the same plateau of gaming for a long ass time now like 10 fucking years almost like seven years when did it come out like 2006 it's like six years of the ps3 and the, P the xbox 360 we've been there for a fucking long time and then PC gamers have been at 1080p, 60 frames, for a long time. We've been there for a good four or five years. So they're going to upgrade this new technology to 
1080p 60 frames. A lot of them are speculating that it won't support 4K technology, which is fine. I don't like the idea of 4K and interpolated frames anyway. Uh, but I'm a little bit wary of how much this is going to advance gaming. What I don't want to see is a sort of rehashed, brought up to date Xbox 360 and PS4. That would suck because our gaming is not going to vastly improve. Not like when we've seen things go double in strength. If you compare a PS2 to a PS3, there is no fucking comparison. They're totally different be beasts. You can't even compare them. It's not even close. The original Xbox to the Xbox 360, not even close. They're miles away. I'm a little bit worried that the Xbox 720 and the PS4, which they probably might not be called, are not going to be as advanced as we would like to see. Certainly not double in power, as the 360 to 720 would suggest. So a little bit wary of that, but it's predicted we won't see a PS4 till next year, but we will see an Xbox this year. So we'll see. It might be announced E4, something, uh, E3, something like that. And we'll see what's going to happen. So we'll see Pokemon 1080p. Look at this, Pokemon Blue. <laughs> yeah, PC for the win. Some good news. Uh, some recent stats point that PC gamers are way in the lead at the moment on certain games that you'd expect the console market to be on. I think Black Ops 2, uh, which is the COD market, which you generally expect is a lot of console guys. It's more than double on the PC that are playing Blops. Blops 2, uh, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I think that's pretty awesome. The PC games are... How can you not have a PC now? You can't seriously be buying that many Xbox games that you've not saved up enough to kind of get a PC and go, holy shit. I tell you where I mainly noticed this is I told you I bought Emma's father for Christmas, Dead Space 2. Having not finished Dead Space 2 at the time I bought it him, and then having finished it, and knowing some of the things that happened at the end... I kind of wanted to see how he was getting on with it because he's kind of an older guy. He's like 50-something. Uh, and I was like, ah, there's some grim bits coming up at the end. So I'll go and see how he's doing. I could barely fucking tell how he was doing. The screen resolution is that bad. Holy shit. I've never seen such worse draw distance in my life. It was like some guy was in the screen drawing the motherfucker as he traversed through the game. Then he had fog. So you can't see shit. Worst fucking thing I have ever seen in my life is somebody playing what I've been playing on maximum settings on my PC on a fucking PlayStation 3. I felt sorry for him. I was like, dude, turn it off, man. Turn this shit off. Just, just throw it and throw the PS3 out the window. If it's a game that I've only played on the PS3, I'm fine with that. Like WWE 13, we only play on the PS3. So I don't have a comparison to the PC. But playing Dead Space 2 on maximum settings and then watching someone suffer... Through playing on a PlayStation 3, I just felt really bad. I was like, I'm so sorry for buying you this fucking game. I feel terrible. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? How can you see what's going on? Oh, and then you can't help it. You become that fucking guy. You do. You can't help it. You become that guy who says... Oh, well, in the PC version, you can see that this happens. Which is like, some of the mobs were just almost blurry to me. Like on the PS3, they've got fucking sides. And they're ready to s s cut your fucking balls off. And you can see the animation on their eyeballs. And they're fucking drooling and all that shit. And I can't help it. I am that guy. I'm like, yeah, on the PC version, you can see his eye and stuff. On this, he just looks like this fucking kludgy mess. Like his makeup's running. It looks like some ugly drag queen. It's supposed to be a necromorph. It actually just looks like, you know, your old brother or something. And, ah. Oh. Fuck PlayStation 3s, man. I love I love Nintendo stuff because they're totally different. But the PC ports and the console ports, oh, man, so fucking terrible. Okay, let's talk about some WoW stuff. Comment of the day. Any news on 25-man raiding and incentives for them? We have an idea, but it's a bit controversial, so we're not ready to spring it on you yet. Ooh, what could this be? Ooh, ooh, ideas. Let's go, ideas. First thing that spring to mind, they're going to do something with 25 man rating. It's going to be controversial. We're not ready to spring it on you. 15 man, 15 man rating? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think they can switch it already. They can't switch it while there's, they can't switch it now. They kind of need to wait to the end of Mr. Pandaria to go 15 man. Combined Horde Alliance? Probably not. They are deleting it. <laughs> Spring me, brother. Remove 25-man rating, 100-man rating. Joint faction raids, better loot? No, can't be better loot. Can't be better loot. They actually debunk that pretty quickly. Is that They can't give better loot in 25-man. 
Two lockouts per week. Kind of think they don't want to do two lockouts per week. It's an interesting idea. No loot. <laughs> 25 man gets access to more dailies. Hashtag victory. Trending all over that idea. Cross realm. Cross realm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cross realm. Cross realm's what I'm liking so far. Kind of liking cross realm. Possibly not though. Different raids for 25 man. Mm-hmm. I don't know, by the way. <laughs> I've not got some inside information. Guild quest? Nah. Nah. <sighs> 25 man. All buffs up at all times. Everybody's a warlock. Uh, being able to quest as a raid needed. No, they're, they're going to incentivize 25 man raiding, but it's going to be controversial. They when when let hey let me in on let me let you in on a secret right when Blizzard openly tells you it's going to be controversial that means nobody is going to like it initially. I'm fucking telling you that's what it means. If they are openly saying this is going to be controversial, it means that everybody is going to hate it at first. Are we worried about that? I know one guy who isn't. This guy, because it's all fucked up right now. It's all goofed up. It's all crazy. I want something that people don't like because people, in general, like the wrong things. They think they know what they want. <laughs> we get LFR, yeah? I just want access to easy enough rating. <laughs> LFR! <laughs> Dailies all the time. No, no. We want easier content. Naxxramas revamp. <laughs> Just vomiting everywhere. Oh, and this is rubbish. This is terrible. This isn't what we wanted. Actually, you did ask for easier content. We gave you Naxxramas. It was really easy. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not going to be harder. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Both teams are the same raid? Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay. One idea that could be possible is Cross Realm. Uh, although I kind of don't think so. Cross Realm would be interesting. It would certainly be interesting. But why would you bother? That's the thing. Cross Realm isn't too difficult from just changing realms right now. If they did Cross Realm 25 rating, they would just lose money. It's not really an incentive for them. Uh, there's, a few, there's more reasons against it being Cross Realm than being positive for Cross Realm. Uh, people transferring... They make a lot of money. People tend to change guilds, then they bring more characters. They make a shitload of money, you know what I mean? It costs you like, uh, what, like $150 to change 10 characters, something crazy. Uh, so I don't think it's cross-realm. Cross-realm would only benefit the guilds already in existence. Cross-realm would only benefit trialing new players. Oh, you want to join our guild? Well, your app looks good. Raid with us cross-realm won't have much of a problem. So... Can't see it being that. Also creates lots of issues with uh, Realm First. Although I did read they wanted to remove the Realm First titles. Uh, so that was gone. Uh, but we'll see. I can't see it being Cross Realm. I can't see it being Cross Realm. Um, greater amounts of loot. That's a high possibility. There is no doubt about that. There's, about that, that there's a high possibility that 25 mans are going to get a lot more loot. And when I say a lot more loot, a lot more loot. It's possible. It is possible to incentivize that you will you won't get better gear. That's the thing, you see, you won't get better gear, you will get a lot more gear faster. Uh, is the idea there. There's a very that's possible. In my eyes, that's possible. I'm guessing. Trust me, I'm completely guessing. Uh, I don't know what it is, but they, if it's controversial, people aren't going to like it. Of course, if it is a case that you get, say, 10 items. How many do you get now on a 25 man? Like 6, 7? If you start getting 10, 11 items per boss kill on 25 man, that really shits on 10 mans. Because that shifts the balance enormously. Because the idea of the loot is it's balanced across what should be a normal size conversion of raids from 10 to 25. A lot more loot. That shifts the balance. 10 man becomes weaker. By by proxy, it becomes weaker. You have a much stronger, much higher geared 25 man raid. So that's not going to be nice. That's not going to be nice at all. That's not going to be nice. Uh, what else have we got here? What else have we got here? Separate achievements? Ah no, it's not it's not controversial if it's twenty if it's separate achievements. It's not. Uh, da, 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 different rates altogether. Yeah, let's talk about that. Something, uh, I'm not going to blow my own horn. Something we suggested a while ago. We did it between us, okay? We suggested this a while ago. Is completely different raids. As in, totally different. Not the same instance, not even fucking close. 10-man progression paths, 25-man progression paths. 
Awesome. Absolutely fucking awesome. If, and only if, 25 mans cannot take part in the 10 man path at the same time. They could do it one week, then do it another week. That's fine. You could do 25 man one week, 10 man the next week. That's fine. That makes sense. What you can't have is 25 mans doing their instance, then going doing the 10 man instance with the gear from 25 because 10 man cannot do that. They can't go 25 man. 10 man is limited. They can't do that. 25 mans can. They can in fact do it twice if they wanted to. Uh, so we can't have that. But I can't see it being that either. As much as I would love that to be the case and to have a distinction between the two, I think it could be good for the game. I really do to say, ooh, I'm happy with the 10 man, but I kind of want to do 25 man. Especially if there's important lore characters in the 10 man and 25. However, this does... This does mean that 10 man will miss out on content by proxy. They can't do the 25 man. They will miss out on potentially great content. Would Blizzard have the balls? Would they have the balls to say, that's why LFR's there? Mm, would they have the fucking balls to say that? Yeah, well, that's why LFR's there. Would they have the fucking balls to say that? You can go and see it in the LFR. It's fine. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's a bit of a slap in the face. But Blizzard has not been against slapping people in the face recently. In fact, they're getting quite abrupt with some of their responses to the fans. as in, Almost as if to say, translated, fuck you, stop fucking whining. Uh, they're not too far away from saying stuff like that. They're doing it in a polite way. But as I read it, it's like, shut the fuck up. Essentially, they're not kind of against doing that. But... That's a close one. I would like to see that, uh, but they... T I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm interested to see what it could be. I hope it's nothing disappointing. Something disappointing could be crazy. Could be crazy. Uh, there's a good word being thrown out by Strunson now, which is exclusive. Ten mans have the right to say that the 25-man content would be exclusive to 25-man guilds. Whereas their, whereas their 10 man content is not exclusive to 10 man guilds. It isn't, because the 25 mans can easily go and do it. I'm sure we would have some guilds, uh, you know, the top end guilds, who would try and clear all the 25 man and all the 10 man before anybody else. You know, the double world first, going for the triple crown or whatever you want to call it. That would be absolutely fucking mental. Uh, but, um, this is interesting. Something controversial. Something controversial. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I want to see the YouTube comments on that for tomorrow. That's, that's, the, that's the topic of discussion. What could this be? Let's have some fun. Let's theorycraft. Let's, let's see what the journey upholds. They have an idea. They've put it on the table. Dailies were also an idea. That was on the table. <laughs> so we'll see what's going to happen. The original Fire Mage DPS stats were on the table. They were decided. So it's, it could be nothing. It could be like, well... You know what would really disappoint me? Is if they get better mounts or something ridiculous. Like a much better title. 10 mans don't get a title, 25 man does. Or something just bizarre and stupid like that. Something similar to what we've already had in the past. Who gives a shit? Maybe even... Would it be that controversial if it was just reskinned armor? What do you think? If it was just a different colored armor that dropped from the 25 man. Stats completely the same. Stats completely the same. But there's a different color... On the 25 man versus the 10 man. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Do you think that is controversial to some players? Look at the success of Transmog and Ghost and his Transmog runs. People really care how their character looks. Would it be a major deal if that was the case? Ghost would care. <laughs> uh, it would be so elegant. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Transmogs are going to be finished over the next few days. Don't worry, guys. We know how hard you worked on them. We really do. Uh, we're going to get them sorted over the next few days. Uh that would only appeal to people like Ghost. There are a lot of them. There are a lot of people who like Transmogs. 25 man should give armor that makes your character bigger. <laughs> You're just bigger. <laughs> You're slightly larger than the average orc, you know. Unlock legendary Transmogs in 25 man. Could be. That's a good idea. I like what Indy's come up with there. Is that you will get something similar to the challenge mode set. Is what I assume. Uh, and you will get some sort of challenge mode armor reward for 25 man. Again, making some content exclusive because Blizzard has fought for a long time to make 10 mans 
feel and be as balanced as they can with the 25 man progresses uh, it can never be that way we know that and they should have known that from the start i wish i was there i wish when they said we should we should balance them both yeah you can yeah but we'll really try doesn't matter you can try all you want it won't work uh, oh, okay, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Correct, that's the correct answer. Uh, Ten Man should never have been brought into the game as a specific set. By the way, my feelings on it, anyway. Uh, it was just it was just doomed to failure. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> Hard my experience is hardcore raiders don't give a shit about transmog. Not all true, not all true. Some very hardcore raiders care a lot about how their gear looks. Care a lot, care a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, Anuga Thalak special abilities. Can't really do that. Can't really do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you get for me, oh, those vanish points out. If you get more loot per boss, then they should be harder to match. Fifteen man, it's not going to happen. They can't just destroy twenty-five man guilds with an announcement. Uh, they gave us look at how they did it in the Burning Crusade. They gave us so much warning, like five or six months warning that the raiding would be twenty-five man. That's the kind of warning they need for it to be acceptable. Like six months warning. This could be. A patch 5.3 warning. Then in patch 5.3 it goes to 15 man. That would be possible. Give people a whole patch 5.2 and a raid tier to kind of sort themselves out and find a place in the universe. Can't see it. I can only see during the Emerald Dream if we are to believe that the Emerald Dream is the next expansion. I can only see us, and believe me, if there is another expansion, it will be the 15 man expansion. If nothing works out in this one. Um, <laughs> that will be the time it happens. I'm really... Um, I'm really interested to see what the solution is. I'm really interested to see what it is. Uh, and hopefully it won't be exclusive. If it is changing 25 man to be harder and doing away with the balance, I'm all for that as well. Um, if it drops more gear, that's okay. I think I think that's okay. Um, I'm a little bit wary that 10 mans will feel shit on. Like really shit on. But it's time that we ended this debate. It's got to be. It's got to be the time where we stop pretending and having people argue over which is harder because it just doesn't work. I just want that debate to be over. Uh, it's the whole point of this. I'm not in even interested in promoting 25 man. I'm not that interested in it. I think that's more fun, in my personal opinion. And some people believe 10 man is more fun. Each to your own. I'm just sick of the debate. I'm tired of it. And I'm tired of Blizzard trying to defend a broken system. Because Blizzard has better things to do. To make us better raid content than see people whine and cry over 10 and 25. And God knows how much work goes into trying to balance a 10 and 25 man of the same boss. It's a fucking lot. It's got to be a lot of work. Because you have so many things to take into account. Not exclusively just the combination of raid buffs in 25. And the combination of power you can have on a 10 man when you start stacking a 10 man raid. Very easy to stack a 10 man raid. Very easy. Compare that to a 25 man... Pretty tough, but then you have a shit more, more buffs. There's so many variables. I don't want Blizzard wasting time on that. I don't. I want them to say, this is a 10-man boss. Ugh. That's a 25-man boss. Ugh. Not go, well, this is one boss. Let's go that way. Let's go this way. I don't want that to happen. I want more time towards new content so we can just be happier and have better content. Another three days on a certain boss might yield something magnificent instead of, three, uh, instead of less than those three days. Because three days were spent balancing it between 10 and 25. And then we get bosses that are bugged because some guy, some fucking player, worked out some asshole trickery that you can pull off in a 10-man that wasn't really anticipated. That's what I don't want to see. All right, so you've got plenty to talk about there. I'm hoping we see some answers. I hope to see some discussion from you guys. And we'll follow this up tomorrow as well. We're going to talk about the Dungeon Journal tomorrow as well. Um, what day is it tomorrow? It's Wednesday today, right? So Thursday is that going to be back to normal WoW stuff and then Drama Friday on Friday. All right, ballers? So I'm going to go swimming. I'm uploading the video for you now. Some top DPS tips, all right? A very easy way of really making sure you're getting the best out of your character while you're raiding. So check that out. It should be up in about an hour or so. I'm going to leave you for today. Have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye, ballers. Questions tomorrow as well.